Well, the flying wing is complete. The FPV 30. Here it is. So I thought I'd post some uh, some final thoughts. How I thought the build went. Uh, maybe even go over the plans a little bit I'll, as part of this uh, video and as part of the intro video. I'll post the plans. Um, so let me get right into some final thoughts of the wing. First of all, I'm really happy with the way it came out. The CG on this wing is about seven inches back from the nose. Um, I have a line, it happens to coincide perfectly with this line in the tape. Ruler, you're probably not going to be able to read that, but seven inches pretty much coincides perfectly with that line in the tape. And if I balance at that line, we get, we're pretty close to right on as far as CG goes. So I'm pretty confident it's going to fly well. If I need to move the CG front or backwards, I can do that uh, by adding some, some weight to the front or back of the wing. I may ultimately change the batteries as well at some point. Um, other things to note, I was very happy with the way the, uh, the motor mount went on using uh, double-sided tape underneath the uh, motor mount itself and then a couple strips of tape going, uh, keeping it in. Uh, one strip of duct tape and one packing tape. I think that's going to be very solid. I, th I think that's going to uh, perform really well. I threw a 7x5 prop on it um, along with this prop adapter. Uh, when you tighten up your prop adapter, this is a reverse uh, prop. So that means when this motor is spinning, it is going to tighten the prop adapter. I probably don't need blue thread lock on it, but I put it on anyway because I've made a couple mistakes in the past where I've lost my, uh, my prop adapter because I didn't use thread lock on it. Um, I decided to do some tape over the compartment that has the ESC and the receiver in there uh, just uh, to make it slightly more aerodynamic. Um, the antenna from the receiver, I cut a notch in the foam here and I ended up recessing that and a layer of tape over top of that. And other than that, uh, you can see my, my parallel wiring harness here. I don't know. Let's see if I can get in there closer. Um, the two into one to go into the, the battery, into the ESC. So that worked out really well. I'm happy with the color scheme. That's purple. It probably looks blue on camera just because of the lighting in here. And orange on the top and the purple ailerons should be, should be enough contrast for me to see and tell when this thing's flying through the air to tell whether it's coming this way on a turn or this way on a turn. And uh, that's a problem I've had with some other wings um, for, at a distance. I'm happy with the way that the control horns uh, turned out. And of course, uh, the control arms, I, I always use the same ones. So I'm, I'm happy with those as well. Um, I went through in the intro video, I, uh, if you watch it, I went through each of the individual parts, listed um, which Hobby King parts they map up to. And uh, I will post in this video as well the parts list uh, so that you guys can see what I had to buy. I decided to put that in the intro video as well in case somebody's actually going to go through the videos while they're waiting for the parts to arrive. Uh, undecided yet on the KFM4 airfoil, I do have another wing that uses that, the upper and lower steps, and it flies very stably, um, but it doesn't float quite as well, I find, and you need to fly it slightly faster which contradicts what's on the wiki page for the KFM4, but I find you need to fly, fly faster just, just by nature of the, the relative weight of everything. Um, that could also have something to do with that. I'm, I'm tending to use a slightly larger motor and batteries on those planes. So all in all, very happy with the way it turned out. Can't wait to do the maiden flight. I want to uh, thank anybody who's actually watched the video series on how to build your own flying wing. And of course, any comments, suggestions are uh, welcome. Always like to trade information with people. And uh, I just can't stop looking at the beastie. I, I want to get it out there and I want to get her up to 100 miles an hour or even 200 kilometers an hour. And that's about it. Um, I'll post the plans, uh, probably beginning and end of this video, so you can just uh, pause them, uh, turn your uh, YouTube to 1080p and pause them. You'll be able to write down the different dimensions. Actually, you know what I'm going to do?
plans will be posted right now, so you're not going to be able to see me. Yeah, okay, I'm going to talk about the plans a little bit. So, the wing is 30, 30 inches wide. Um, it has, it's a slightly swept wing. Um, it's a, it shows as 11 inches from the top to where the, uh, the motor mount would be, it down the middle, and it's 9 inches uh, on the side. So root cord and tip cord would be typically what you would call those two. Um, it's got two inch control surfaces and then if you move over to the step so the, so the inch the wing in total if you were to take a look at it as a rectangular shape would be 30 inches by 20 inches now when we take a look at the steps the top and bottom steps their root cord is five and a half inches and their tip cord is four and a half inches according to the plans this middle piece that comes across according to the plans is four inches wide i've gone a little bit wider with this one uh, just because uh, of using the slightly larger ESC and I've only gone wider on the top. You can see the bottom is about four inches wide. I've placed fiberglass rods on the lower step. Now if you're doing a KFM 2 version instead of 4 you won't have a lower step and do the fiberglass rods on the upper step. I've notched in, uh, as you, you can see in the other videos, I've notched in a spot for the fiberglass rods and built an A-frame right into that step and then glue it on. So that means that this middle deck piece can all be one piece and the step itself um, is thick enough to handle the fiberglass rods and it's quite, you see I'm trying to bend it here, it's quite stiff. You could also use carbon fiber if you, if you really wanted to. You may even be able to use wooden dowels, but I wouldn't recommend it. That's about it, okay, for the instructions. So uh, grab the plans, watch the videos, um, and good luck with your wing. I figure the least I could do is fire this guy up for you guys one time. So I'll turn on my remote. throttle I've given it there. <laughs> See if we can blow the camera over. It makes an awesome power leaf blower. Can't wait to run it. Can't wait.